All right, you guys are getting the good picture here. You got yourself a got yourself a decent skater. You look looking good. Who's got himself a nice good blue and orange deck? But I think the one thing that's missing off of this is uh, e our objects. We can't do all the DIY shit we want to do. My friend, we're gonna solve that today. Up workers, I'm Jalen Fulf, and welcome back to Session. Last time we were here, we finally completed Donovan Strain's quests, and during our quest missions, he, um, Don our friend Strain also asked us to locate Ribsman. Um, given that we've also unlocked everything in the shop for free, at least our clothes and our board decks and whatnot, we're still missing one thing, and that is the, um... And that is our DIY pieces, which, as you may have seen, I've been able to DIY this whole time. I just never even bothered to touch the system until now. So, what we're going to do is locate this mysterious whoever this ribs man is and uh, see what he's up to. Now, during our trips, however, our friend Donovan actually gave us a, a precise location on where he could actually be. And to do this, we're going to go to another level because he's not actually in the Chatham Apartment slash Brooklyn Banks area slash James Park slash whatever else, wherever else is in the main New York City area. We're going to go into Creature Park right here. And with that, off to a destination where I've done my drops. And who my, and who pray tell is that? Think about it very carefully for a moment. Think about this very carefully for a moment. His face, covered in bones. His shirt, looks like a set of ribs. His arms, look like a set of fucking skeleton arms. My friends, this may be the ribs man we're after. What's up? Hey, are you the guy putting stuff on my tab at the shop? No, just let me know if you hear anything. Yo, the locals did a sick job of making this park themselves. They got all their DIY stuff from the skate shop. I'll hook you up by unlocking all the DIY stuff, but first, let's session this fun box. Land some tricks over the barrier. If you need speed, try starting your run-up from the top of the little bank in front of me. So I need a specific set of tricks, huh? I'm gonna try to remember what is exactly asked of us here. Nolly front side heel is the big one that I want to start with, given my nollies aren't usually the best, and I want to start with, and I just want to get some practice out of it. But he specifically wants him over here, and the reason why I say I want to start with the nolly front side heel is because, as far as I'm aware, for the vi for a video's sake, I did see a video relating to this, and what they said was these tricks can be done in any order. So, for example, if I did the nolly heel. Okay, that's not the way I wanted. Right, so if I started my nolly heel here... If I started my nolly heel here... That's one. Hold on, you said nolly front side heel? Let me try a uh, regular speed for now. That's not what I wanted. I wanted... That. but I wanted to land on the ramp. Oh, I still get the nollie front side heel. Anyways, perfect. As long as it's just touching the other, other rail, that's fine. But now backside kick. So let's just do that. Okay, I just want to do that. Um, hello? Game doesn't like to be, ni like to be nice to me much? There we go, that's our backside flip. Now I just gotta remember what the what the uh trick was for the 360 flip. Alright, you probably want the tray flip. You probably want the tray flip, I'm gonna say that much. So let me try the tray flip, see if that does help with wonders. 
All right, that's what you wanted. You wanted the tri flip. Perfect. All right. So rips, man. I got you in the. I got your stuff in the bag. What's up? You killed it, homie. I'll let you. I'll let the skate shop know how to unlock all the DIY stuff for you to buy. You can carry on skating around doing daily, weekly, and historical challenges to get money and buy your DIY items back. Or you can find me in New York City. Have some more sessions, and I'll give you all the DIY items back. Your choice, homie. Peace. So where could, so after that mess, where could he be next? I think our next destination should be... I bet you he wants to go out towards Police Plaza, if that's our next destination. So let's go out to the banks. He was a skater boy, he said... I was expecting to bail there to make the joke work. Even I did it once on a video, but never failed. But oh, the bail's not working on this thing anymore. I swear to God, the bails aren't working anymore. Remember those ragdoll bails that they used to have? God damn, those are funny. I don't know why. I don't know why they got rid of them. He said, "See you later, boy." Ah, yes, this dude. He's all the way over here. I figured Police Plaza was going to be the best way to do it, or at least, um, outside of Police Plaza, mind you. In this little wrecked area. Remember when I did- remember in that first video I did back in, like, 2020, when I actually pulled off a grind here and then saved myself? That replay moment? I think Editing Jalen should probably go back to that video and try to play back that replay from the uh, moment it happened. And then suddenly the board just jumps off. Like that. Unexpectedly, and with no preparation for this whatsoever, my boarder decides to correct himself. He manages to get his feet back in place, just like, just in the nick of time, and bam, the landing. What a save there, my friends. What a save. All right, ribs man. Now that we've finished that little... Memory memory lane moment. What do you got for us this time? I started feeling like a gargoyle waiting here for so long. What are you saying? I've already unlocked all the DIY stuff at the shop. Oh, but you don't want a graph to get it back? You want it all back for free? Let's skate first and I'll give you all the DIY stuff you need. It's a ball ache to carry all these items anyway. Place a kicker down next to me and gap over the grass to the street. Let's try and get three tricks. Backside 180 ollie. Hard flip, and a frontside kick flip. Done. But does he give me the thing, though? No, I gotta get it myself. Heck. Here, I am going to come right back, my friend. Because I desperately need that thing you asked for. Alright, I got your kicker, friendo. What, is there anything else you want to just talk to me in relation to this? Or no, you're, you're probably just going to go fucking silent like you usually do. Here, I'm going to get the wooden kicker out. Uh, move it. A little bit over here. I kind of want to just leave it on the, uh, or at least leave that end there, just to give it a good enough distance, but you probably want it there, most likely. So, confirm. And I'm going to run a test of this ramp, just to see if it will do what it's supposed to. Well, that's one, but I need distance. So, if I get enough distance and enough speed, I should clear the gap. Am I right? Probably not in that way, but I'm pretty sure, I'm sure we got it. Yeah, that's our, that's our gap. Okay. That's our hard flip, yes. But now I need a backside one of the ollie, which should be fairly easy. If I don't hit the fucking thing. Backside ollie 360, but I want to get the backside ollie 180. Oh, perfect. Backside 180 ollie works. Okay. So now the front side flip. Now the front side flip. 
but a frontside 180 flip. My god. Yes, frontside flip. <sighs> Why do we have to be so technical with our placement? That was sick. I'm heading down to the underground parking lot. I'll catch you down there, homie. Well, that's one bit, but there's more bits coming. But before we do that, I need my kicker back. And the game crashed. Lovely. Lovely game crash. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Catch you guys. Okay, so I'm back. Now, if all did not get lost, Rib's man should actually be down here somewhere. Now, where could he have possibly gone off to? And I think for this, I want to try and find some steps because I know he's supposed to be underneath somewhere. I said if all was not lost. Oh, there he is. There you are, you fucker, you mysterious man, you. What do you want? Yo, down here are some insane spots and line possibilities. Let's try a gnarly line down here. Right, listen close. This is gonna be a triple threat, meaning there's three threats which could put you in the put you in the back of an ambulance. 360 flip over the curb in front of me. Kick flip through the hole beyond that land it. Then muster up any grind down that kink rail on the right. So, basically he wants a tray flip, a kick flip, and any grind. Alright. With the uh, situ with situations calmed down and whatnot, and me just giving up miserably on Ripped Man's quests, some of you may be probably coming in because you may have played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, and are probably coming in like, surely... The guys over at Session didn't do anything that could probably remind us of something, right? Well, let's go up these escalators for a second. And it's actually going to take us up, but I'm going to be a jerk and just do this. Oh, I know what I want to do. Um, options, day, night. And we're going to turn the camera camera light back to auto, because things just don't want to work our asses around here. But anyway... Does this seem familiar to you? If you've probably been around either Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, or Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, then chances are you may have seen something similar to this. This is the fountain from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. And up here is what would have been the love sign at Love Park in Philadelphia. Now, this says just this says NAR because Session and, well, I don't know if it's licensing or just trying to be creative, but either way, what we do end up finding around here, probably some reminiscent stuff from uh, the Pro Skater days or maybe even just some unusual stuff. But of course, there's gonna be something. Oh, what is this? There's a bus stop over here, just all of a sudden. Or am I not allowed on it? I'm not allowed on it. God damn it. But there's some extra bits that you probably don't even know about. So let me see. My question to you all is, I wonder if... Because I, I see this little underground bit. Am I appropriate? No, I can't. God damn it. It would have been nice to go through the garage and then come back out the other side. I'm sure creature is probably gonna, or creature is probably gonna do something about that. I don't know. Uh, I know one person pronounced it creature, the other, and I'm just, and I've been pronouncing creature for a while simply because of, um, because of uh, accent issues, or maybe it's just me. I don't know. But there are some other features around here that I'm probably not thinking of for a moment. Is this a 16 set? One, two, three, four. Eight. Twelve. I think that's it. Am I not mistaken by saying that's a 16 set? Here, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna absolutely try something, and hopefully this will work.
Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll take care of all the historical challenges at the end of the video. But really, the direction I actually want to go back towards... I don't want to go this way, because even though this is a different part of Philly, this may oddly seem familiar to those that played Proving Ground, or some of that nature, I don't know. I don't know if this even does remind people of Proving Ground, but even then, whatever game it reminds you of, I don't care. Y'all getting Philly either way. But I actually want to go back to the Love Fountain, Love Park Fountain, because there are some other historical challenges that I want to do all the way back there. And what better way to test out the runs than just doing standard issue Ollie down the gap? And, and, and coincidentally, that was indeed a historical challenge after all. Who'd have thunk? Now, the next bit I want to probably try is maybe maybe let's do a standard issue kickflip down that gap. Go to thunk. Let's see. I mean, it works! It works! Sort of. Maybe a varial heal would do. Probably not what I was expecting. And there it is. That's what we wanted. And I think the last one I want to try is the tri-flip, if it can allow me to do that. And there it is, another bit of historical moments in the, in the love gap done. I'm pretty sure I got that pat down and ready to go. So that was the love gap for you. I can probably come back to the love gap for more of these historical challenges, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do today. And, of course, um, I hopefully you guys don't uh, hate on me for pulling off those, uh, pulling off that rage quit moment there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for coming on by, and thank you so much for watching today's episode of Session. And hopefully, next time we spot each other, I'm probably going to come back in and do a little bit of, uh, I don't know, more historical challenges. Maybe a little bit of, um, maybe a little bit of trying that quest here and there. I'm going to see what I can do off camera. And if I can get, get it off camera, I'll be surprised and probably show you the last quest if need be. But nonetheless, guys. Oh, before we go, I have uh, some mystical challenges to show off that I've already done, so let's go ahead and see those. Eric Kunman's 360 Flip Ender in the 2010 Skatology Board Shop video, Something Wild. That's the Love Gap one. And there are four and three other Love Gap ones, plus a... Municipal 16 set, 16 set that I also did. Carrie Gets Kickflip. Landed in 1996, but first premiered in Jump Off a Building Toy Machine video in 1998. Tim O'Connor also kickflipped in 98 while escaping the police. <coughs> what kind of trouble was he in? Mark Susio Varial Heal in the Sabotage Productions 2012 video Sabotage 3. He heel flipped the Love Gap. Excuse me, Varial Healed the Love Gap. <sighs> In 1993, Vinnie Ponte was the first skater to ollie down the love gap. He made history and opened the gates for everyone after that. When was skating a thing? In the 2017 Terror of Planet X video, Distant Planet, Adam Rebar hucked a kickflip down the Philadelphia Massive Municipality 16 stair set. Nice, nice. A lot of history in the making here going into creation of session. I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. That is absolutely all that I did. And you can also see the two, um, or at least part of one of them, two of the historical challenges that I did in previous videos back up here, mainly because off camera, I've had to do them just to get them, just to get them back. In future videos, um, if I, if I can get that, um, if I can get that big line gap going, I'll try and get the final quest in on, on a future video. If not, then all I'm gonna do is historical challenges and maybe a few daily challenges in between, like previous videos. At least until I get at least until I get something done. But yeah, hopefully I don't lose everything because I don't do DIY stuff. I'm mostly into the idea of just getting my clothes and and get picking out my gear and whatnot. So if I need to, I'll just buy the shit. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, leave a like, post your comments, hit subscribe to the notification bell, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time. Yeah.